Hey everyone, so here I'm doing exercise 7.6 first question. This is from fraction chapter of a class 6 and these questions are really important for exam point of view. The first question here is 2 upon 3 plus 7 upon 3. So if you see here most of the questions are unlike fractions. So the main aim for unlike fractions is to make them like fractions. Now unlike fractions means when denominators are different. So here 3 and 7 the denominators are different. So to make it same I'm going to take a LCM of denominators that is 3 and 7 which is 21. Now I'll change the denominator of each fraction and I'm going to find out the equivalent fraction of it with the denominator 21. So to multiply 7 in the numerator and denominator I'll get 14 upon 21. Similarly 1 by 7. With 7 what I should multiply to get 21? It's 3. So 7 3 is a 21 right. So multiply 3 in the numerator also. We'll get 3 by 21. Now I'm going to add this to 14 plus 21 plus 3 by 21. Now since denominators are same, you have to just write down denominator as it is 21 and add the numerator which is 14 plus 3 which is 17. So the answer will be 17 upon 21. That's it. It was a simple one. Let's move on to the next question which is problem B. In B we have a 3 upon 10 and 7 upon 15. Again denominators are different so we have to take LCM of 10 and 15 to solve this. So first we will take a LCM of 15 and 10 which will be 30. Alright, now I am going to change the denominator to 30 for both the fractions. So 3 by 10. So with 10 what we should multiply to get 30? It will be 3. So multiply 3 in the numerator and denominator. It will get 9 by 30. Similarly, the next one we have 7 by 15. So with 15, what we should multiply to get 30? It will be 2. Multiply 2 in the numerator, we'll get 14 by 30. Now in place of the 3 by 10 and 7 by 15, we'll go write down this equivalent fraction which we got. So 9 by 30 plus 14 by 30 we're going to do. Write the same denominator which is 30 and simply add the numerator. That is 9 plus 14 which is nothing but 23. So 23 by 30. Next one, we have a problem C. Again, problem C, we have a different denominators. This is again example of addition of unlike fraction. So we have 4 by 9 plus 2 by 7. So we'll take LCM of 9 and 7 first to make denominator same. So LCM of 9 and 7 will be 63. Now, the first number is 4 by 9. So with 9, what we should multiply to get 63? It is 7. Multiply 7 in the denominator and also in the numerator. So 4 7s is 28. We will get 28 upon 63. Next, we have 2 by 7. I am sorry, I wrote 36. It is 63. So with 7, we have to multiply 9. So it'll, this will be equal to 18 by 63. I'll just change this. It's a 63. Now we're going to add these numbers. 28, upon 20, 28 by 63 plus 18 by 63. So 28 and 18 when we add. We will get 46 by 63. So here I am just showing you how we are adding up. And then 28 plus 18. So 8 plus 8 is 16. Now add them. We will get 46. So 46 by 63 will be the answer. We cannot reduce further. So we can leave the answer like this. Moving on. We have a problem uh, e where the number is 2 upon 5 plus 1 upon 6. So first we will write down the question. It's 2 by 5 plus 1 by 6. Again you can see the denominator they are different so we have to make it same by taking LCM. We will take LCM of 5 and 6 which is 30. Now we are going to change the denominator of each number. First we will take 2 upon 5. 
Now with 5 what we should multiply to get 30? It is 6. So you're going to multiply 6 in the numerator and denominator. We'll get 12 upon 30. Similarly, 1 upon 6. With 6, what we should multiply to get 30? It's 5. So multiply 5 in the numerator and denominator. We'll get 5 and 5. So 5 by 30. Now we're going to add these numbers. So 12 by 30 plus 5 by 30. Since it's like fraction now, we're going to keep the denominator same 30. Add the numerators. So when you add the numerators 12 and 5, you will get 17. So the answer will be 17 upon 30. Or you can just show them adding up. That is 12 plus 5. So one more step, you can just exclude this. We'll get 17 upon 30. We cannot reduce this further. So we're going to leave the answer here. Moving to the next problem, we have a problem F. In problem F, we have 4 by 5 and uh, 2 by 3. Again, denominators are different. We're going to take the LCM of uh, four, 5 and 3, which will be 15. So let me write on the question first. It's a 4 by 5 plus a 2 by 3. So we'll take LCM of 5 and 3, which will be 15. So LCM of 5 and 3 is equal to 15. Now for the first number, which is 4 by 5. So with 5, what we should multiply to get 15? It will be 3. So multiply 3 in the numerator and denominator, we'll get 12 upon 15. Same thing for the second number, we have a 2 by 3. So with 3, what we should multiply to get 15? So it will be 5. So multiply 5 in the numerator and denominator, we'll get 10 upon 15. Now we're going to take these numbers and add them instead of taking 4 by 5 and 2 by 3. So it is 12 upon 15 or 12 by 15 plus 10 by 15. Since denominators are same, we're going to add the numerator. So 12 by 15 plus 10 by 15. Now 15 will be there in the denominator. And we're going to add the numerator which is 12 plus 10. So 12 plus 10 will be 22. So we'll get 22 upon 15. We cannot cancel this number further. We're going to leave it here. That's it. This was a simple one. We're going to move on to the next question, which is G. So the problem G is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 3. So again, denominators are different. We'll take LCM of these numbers. Same procedure how we have done for the rest of the problems. So problem G, which is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 3. We'll take the LCM of 4 and 3, which will be 12. Now, first number is 3 by 4, right? So, with 4, what we should multiply to get 12? It's 3. So, multiply 3 in the numerator and in the denominator. So, we'll get 9 by 12. Right? Same thing for second number, which is 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3. With 3, what we should multiply to get 12? It's 4. Multiply 4 in the numerator and in denominator, we'll get 4 by 12. Now, we're going to add them. So, 9 by 12 plus 4 by 12. Since denominators are same, so just simply add the numerator. 9 plus 4 is 13. We'll get 13 by 12. Now here, we cannot cancel these numbers further. So we're going to leave it here. If you can able to cancel, cancel the number and bring it to the reduced form. The next problem is H. So we have 5 by 6 minus 1 by 3. See, denominators are different. We'll take LCM of 6 and 3. So LCM of 6 and 3 will be 6. So if you see here, the first number 5 by 6, the denominator is 6, right? And the LCM is also 6. So we don't, we're not going to change this number. We're going to take the second number, which is 1 by 3, and make the denominator 6. So with 3, what we should multiply to get 6? It's 2. Multiply 2 in the numerator and in the denominator. We'll get 2 by 6. So we're going to write the first number 5 by 6 minus 2 by 6. Now, denominator will be same. Subtract the numerator, 5 minus 2. So 5 minus 2 is 3. This will be equal to 3 by 6. We can cancel this number, right? We're going to cancel this in 3 table. 3 ones and then 3 twos are 6. So the answer will be 1 by 2. This was simple problem. The next one is I. Problem I. We have 3 numbers to add here. So the first one is 2 by 3 plus 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2. So here if you look at the denominators, they all are different. We're going to Take the LCM of two, uh, sorry, 3, 2 and 4 
which will be 12 again so 3 comma 4 comma 2 lcm will be nothing but 12 or you can just simply check it out here so 3 comma 4 comma 2 we're going to take a 2 as a number so 3 will be same 2 2 is a 4 and 2 1s are 2 again you can take here a 2 so 3 will be same as it is 2 1s are 2 and then again 3 just multiply this number so we'll get here 2 2 is a 4 and then 4 3 is a 12 so the lcm will be 12 so we got the lcm we're going to change for all the three numbers so let me write on the lcm which is 12 now the first number here we have is 2 by 3 right so for 2 by 3 what we should multiply to, uh, with this 3 to get 12 it's 4 multiply 4 in the numerator and denominator we'll get 8 by 12 the second number we have is 3 by 4 so again with 4 what we should multiply to get 12 it's 3 so multiply 3 in the numerator and denominator we'll get 9 by 12 same with the last number which is 1 by 2 so again with 2 what we should multiply to get 12 it's a 6 so multiply 6 in the numerator and denominator we'll get 6 by 12 now instead of taking this number we're going to take this number what we have done right now so 8 by 12 plus 9 by 12 and then plus 6 by 12 now since denominators are same we're going to simply add the numerator that is 8 plus 9 plus 6 upon 12 so when you add this 8 plus 9 plus 12 we'll get the answer 23 so 23 upon 12 we cannot cancel this number because 23 is a prime number we cannot cancel this further so leave the answer here so that was problem i same thing we should do for the next problem which is j only thing is numbers are different you should take the lcm of 2 3 and 6 and proceed for like same as how we identify the problem i so here 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 we'll take the lcm of 2 3 and 6 so lcm of 2 3 and 6 will be 6 if you doesn't know the lcm of 2 3 and 6 you can do it separately or you can just directly write down the 6 it's not necessary to show the LCM if you know the LCM of these three numbers. Alright, the first number is 1 upon 2, so I'm going to multiply with 3 to get 6 in the denominator. Second number is 1 upon 3, so with 3 we have to multiply 2 to get 6, right? So multiply 2 in the numerator, denominator, we'll get 2 by 6. And the last number we don't have to multiply because already 6 is present in the denominator, so we don't have to do anything. Now we're going to add up these three numbers. So in place of 1 by 2, I'll take 3 by 6. In place of 1 by 3, we'll take 2 by 6. And the last number, 1 by 6, we'll directly take. Now since denominators are same, we have to simply add the numerator. So that is 3 plus 2 plus 1. So 3 plus 2 plus 1 will be 6. So we'll get 6 upon 6. We can cancel the number in 6 table, 6 ones are and 6 ones are. So the answer we'll get here is 1, which is a whole number. So this was a problem J. We're going to move on to the next problem which is K and here we have a mixed fraction to do it. So the problem K, the number is 1, 1 upon 3 plus 3, 2 upon 3. So whenever we have a mixed fraction to add up or subtract, we have to convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So first multiply 1 and 3 which is 3 and then add up with the numerator. So 3 plus 1 is 4. So 4 by 3 plus same thing. So 3 3 is a 9. First multiply and then whatever answer we got just add it. So 9 plus 2 is 11. So we'll get 11 by 3. Here we don't have to take any LCM because denominators are already same. So we're going to simply add the numerators which is 4 plus 11. So 4 plus 11 by 3. So it will be 15 by 3 or 15 upon 3. We can cancel this number in 3 table. 3 ones are and then 3 fives are. So answer will be equal to 5 by 1 or you can just simply write down 5. Now the next problem is also based on the mixed fraction. But here in the problem, next problem we have different denominators. So we have to take LCM here. So let me run the question here. So 4, 2 upon 3 plus 3, 1 upon 4. We are going to first convert them into improper fraction. So 4, 3 is up, multiply them. 4, 3 is a 12 and then whatever answer we got, we have to add up. So 12 plus 2 is 14. So 14 upon 3 plus 3, 4 is a 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 upon 4. Denominators are different. So we'll take LCM of 3 and 4, which will be 12 again. 
so lcm of 3 and 4 is equal to 12 now we're going to change the denominator the first number is 14 by 3 right so with 3 we have to multiply 4 to get 12 so we're going to multiply 4 in the denominator and also in the numerator so 3 into 4 and then 14 into 4 so this will be equal to so 14 into 4 is 56 and then 3 4 is a 12 so we got here 56 upon 12 and the next we have is 13 upon 4 the next number again same thing with 4 what we have to multiply it will be 3 so multiply 3 in the numerator and denominator 13 3 is a 39 so 39 upon 12 now we're going to add these numbers 56 upon 12 and 39 upon 12 so 56 upon 12 plus 39 upon 12 denominators are same so simply add the numerator which is 56 plus 39 so this is equal to 56 plus 39 so i'm just going to do it on the top so when we add up we'll get 5 plus uh, 6 plus 9 is 15 and then 3 plus 1 uh, 5 plus 1 plus 3 is 95 we get so the answer is 95 upon 12 we cannot cancel the number further we're going to leave the answer here the next problem is really simple we have a question on subtraction it's 16 upon 5 and then minus 7 upon 5 so if you look at the denominators they are same it's 5 so we have to just simply subtract the numerators so it's a 5 in the denominator then 16 minus 7 we'll get here 9 so 9 by 5 we cannot cancel this further we're going to leave it here the last question is again it's simple question we have a 4 by 3 minus 1 by 2 so again it's unlike fraction denominators are not same we're going to make it same by taking lcm of 3 and 2 so lcm of 3 and 2 will be equal to 6 so first number is 4 by 3 so with 3 what we should multiply to get 6 it's 2 so multiply 2 so we'll get 8 by 6 again second number is 1 by 2 so with 2 what we should multiply to get 6 it's 3 so we'll get 3 by 6 now we'll take this number 8 by 6 plus 3 by 6 so this will be equal to 11 by 6 8 plus 3 upon 6 which will be equal to 11 by 6 now 11 is a prime number we cannot cancel this so the answer will remain 11 by 6 all right uh, I'm sorry this is a subtraction so I'll just subtract it once again so 8 by 6 minus 3 by 6. So I'm sorry for doing addition, subtraction. So 8 by 6 minus 3 by 6. So we're going to subtract the numerators which is 8 minus 5, 8 minus 3 is 5. So 5 by 6 is the answer. We cannot cancel further. So that's it. I hope it's clear how we have solved. In case you have any questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.